You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. Well, boys, it's the month of freedom, right? Might as well make some big moves, right? Well, we did just that. See this big old noggin? It's packed full of great ideas. Oh, See this big old throttle foot? It's really good at breaking car parts. It blew up, it blew up, it blew up. I'm out, please. So between the two of them, they make a great team for developing kick-ass car parts. And that brings us to this video. The channel has been absolutely killing it, but we're always looking for any opportunity may further our chances of being able to work on awesome cars the rest of our lives. James and I were talking and I suggested that we should invest in some military grade hovercrafts. You know, you couldn't do that with a canoe. He rifled back with the idea of buying a nice respect. James, good Lord. But really, it was time for us to figure out how to do what we really needed to do for a long time. And that's to create our own line of car parts. Question is, how are we gonna pull that off? Well, what's the best aftermarket parts manufacturer in the game right now? The one that's backed our channel from the very first build. The one that already supplies freaking awesome parts to many of you guys. The answer is Motion Raceworks. A company that was started in a garage, where dogs come to work, where the race cars and burnout cars are tested in the parking lot, and where the people absolutely love what they do. So in an effort to do badass stuff with my friends for the longest time possible, earlier this month, we bought a 20% share of Motion Raceworks from its original creators, Doug, Andy, and Brian. Because yeah, anyone can sell a line of cool car parts. But if we're gonna call it our own and sell it to you guys as something we're really standing behind, then we wanted to have our names on the board. So yes, there was money involved in this deal, but for us, this is about taking our racing to the next level and now supplying parts to our people that are developed by us, tested by us, proven by us, and made in the USA. We're all about making big moves at the Cleese Front Channel. Y'all know that. We're so excited to be partnered up on a whole new level with Motion Raceworks. To start this video off right, I present to you the burnout. Listen, I want to first off say that this is not our first time that we've been at Motion Racers. We came up here before, you know, we had to make sure this was the right deal for us. But I want to give you guys the full rundown on Motion Racers today and what it is. And so today, I figured we'd start my favorite part of the building, and that is the machine shop. Behind me are all of the CNC machines that turn freaking blocks of aluminum like this into parts like this. So 
This is probably Jack Stan and I's favorite part of the building. Like I said, if you didn't know this, Motion Raceworks has over 1,600 parts available online, all different kinds of racing parts. Literally, probably anything you want for your race car, they make, and about 400 of them are actually made here in the building. They are motion manufactured parts, which is where these machines come in. And uh, we're just gonna walk through and show you some of the guys and show you what they're working on. This is something proud of these are. This is probably one of the coolest products that Motion's coming out with right now. This is the hard 90 elbows that come on the new Motion throttle body. So this is not a complete setup. I don't want to show you too much of it, but James and I have been testing these on our cars. There's one on the Nova, there's one on the El Camino, and there's one on James Drift car. So we already have these parts. We've had them for several months and they're coming to fruition right when you guys have seen this video. I'm gonna put this down though, it's kind of heavy. You want safeties too, so you look legit? Yeah. Do you have like a suit or like a uh, apron? No. Nah, I feel official. First. We gotta get James some too. Good. Right. All right, we're here with head machinist Lucas. <laughs> He's gonna give us a walkthrough, machine to machine. Did you get cut? No, we're good. Good. All right, we're you good. Cut these hands, bud. We're getting a walkthrough, machine to machine, because Jackson and I really have no idea what we're talking about, but this guy does. So, take us on a tour. All right. Show the people what we got going. All right, what do we got going in the lathe? Okay, so what we have is our four-inch V-band plant adapter. Woo! Nothing but, yep, rotate that. Hold on, I did it wrong. Ooh, look at that, so you can put a V-band on the new throttle body. Perfect placement, comes into the lathe. Ooh. You don't drop them, that's not what <laughs> That's it? You're gonna hit the button, it's gonna close for you. Unbelievable. Just a little, that's pretty nice. Set it down. Okay, all right, okay. next. Next stop, dude. Yeah, that is the, ready. The lathe, is it good? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I thought you just sent it. <laughs> next stop, dude. How many axes is this bad girl? Three. Three axes. What we're doing over here at the three axis is we're taking this, turning it into that, which goes into here. Science, dude. Three at a time, eh? What? Three at a time. Look at this, dude. We got a freaking pile of these units right here, dude. So this is probably the coolest machine, the five axis, and that takes this into this and inevitably turns into this, which just look at the machining on this. And we'll only give Lucas about 2% credit on this. Lucas, who takes full credit for this? Who takes full credit? Yeah. Andy. This is uh, one of Andy's creations. So this is what attaches to that new throttle body. It can make any hard turn you want. And then it's got a V-band right on the end. It makes fabricating a turbo kit as easy as possible. Churning and burning over here. These are alternator bracket pieces. So part of the alternator bracket kit from Motion Raceworks. All aluminum, made in house. Favorite piece of Pile of those. So these puppies right here are all decked in. It's a three phase machining process, but the end goal is to get this, which is a breather that can bolt to your valve cover. Most of the stuff we've shown you today ends up getting anodized, so this is not the finished product, but you can see it's about there. Machining looks mint, he's ready to go. Can we get a video of James just like squirt and shit? Unbelievable. Ah, it's dude. almost done, so you can change this one. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll change this one out. I, already, I remember how to do it and everything. This is valve covers, dude. We're gonna go from one of these units to... I'll show you in a second. I'll pull one out and you'll see what it is. We got a quick rundown last time we were here, so I can change some of the tools out already, but you know, training day is not over yet. Why do you have so much lock type? When you want to lock something in, I'm using it. These are, These are the Cletus Edition. Ooh, Cletus Edition valve covers coming at you. There's one machine that really lets off a howl. I don't know which one. Yeah. Right here, what we're gonna do is pull out a finished valve cover, and these will soon be 
anodized blue to be for sale for you in our line of freedom parts. And uh, this is this is basically a finished machine valve cover. You should be able to go to anodizing right out of this. Did not want the budge. I don't want to ask for help, but I might have to. Unreal, dude. Got her. All right, so what we're doing here, dude? Recycling these. Ooh, look at that. It's pretty much a completely finished valve cover. Just needs some uh, anodizing on her. We're gonna have to use CGI to make it look like I had this down. Last time, last time I changed these under 10 seconds. Dude, I'm, it's like amateur hour. No, don't check it. <laughs> you don't need to check that, dude. I got it. Yeah, if the machine blows up, dude. She's burning right, though. Yeah. Using the pallets, how they do this, where it's basically three parts and get machined at one time. You know, the machine runs for longer, but it's burning out three parts at one time versus just one part in, one part out, one part in, one part out. They're running three at once. A lot of the efficiencies here were kind of mind boggling for us. We were like, dude, these guys are on it. They know their stuff. And it's honestly, it's easy. Like now that it's so set up, if even I can do it, then it's pretty well set up. Like I can swap this out with maybe five minutes of training because it's just so well designed, the process of actually machining it. Unfortunately, we show you the five axis getting worked on, but she's getting a tune up. So she's out of commission for the day, but this is the big dog. This is what makes these elbows, which just looking at the machining on these puppies, inside and out, there is a lot of design work on that and uh, makes for a really light part. I don't know how much that block weighs before, but now this is 0.9 pounds. So race car weight, race car durability, and functionality is like to the maximum. See, this has got dropped on the table in front of me and I'm supposed to ignore this? What is all this technology they're making? You gotta blur these out like new to you blur. Okay, Chris, blur this. Make sure this is blurred when it comes out. <laughs> Pretty cool though. So this is the new Motion Raceworks HD clamp. You can use this on like your charge pipes. A lot of these, when you see them, are a two-piece design, but this is three-piece, so you can actually feed it into something. It's a little bit easier, a little bit more maneuverable. Made in-house in the USA. Billet ready to rip HD clamp. It just popped on the table in front of me, dude. That's how they roll around here. Also, even if you don't have a throttle body, but you just think this is beautiful, available at motionresearch.com. <laughs> we got tube plasma here. Never seen something like this in my life. This is actually new. This wasn't here last yeah, time. Oh yeah, this is brand new. Let it rip, dude. Can I stare at it? Gonna get right. Oh jeez. I got the numbers, dude. This thing weighs 18 pounds beforehand, goes down to 0.9. It's crazy. Am I getting any guidance on this or I just put it in and press the green button? That's not gonna work like that. What? I think we gotta open her up. I need like a fancy eyeglass or something. Oh, a monocle? That's Brian. You have to, you have to, you have to give it a smack. Yeah. <laughs> Can I hit it? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Did he shut the door? The door is open. Yeah. It rotates all over here. I assume, I don't know. Oh, whoa! Whoa, dude. Someone chill this thing out, dude. Check its vibe. Hey, James, I don't want to get greedy, but technically 20% of these are ours, so I think we should take them home. No, dude, he's gonna put it in my pocket. This has already happened. So I think we should just take this one with us on the plane. Right, take that one, I'll take that one. All right, sounds good. Gotta empty them, you know? We're the chip girls. You know what? Before we leave the machine shop, we have to show you the welding spot. So come back here. Are you just jumping it? There he is right there. Oh, he's handing over the globe. Yeah, you go home. Hey, listen. I taught James how to weld, so he's got this. Stare right at the light. 
binoculars out. Yeah. And I oh. was like, hopefully he doesn't weld it like in motion. Oh. <laughs> Pretty funny. I'm gonna show you how it's done, dude. <laughs> I got this. Whoa! Yeah. Want to do a wall? No, just two at a time. How many dots do I'm going home? Well guys, there's so much more in Motion Racers than just the machining. These guys are cranking out tons of parts a day. But well, let's take you through this door, show you the rest of what we got going over here, man. Got some catch cans just finished up, ready for some anodizing, but we got a lot to see. Come on in. Guys, anytime an order comes into Motion Race Works, one of these dogs, as you'll see here, goes and gets the, the packing slip and then has to walk through many of these aisles that you'll see behind us in racks and find the parts. But what we wanted to do was cruise through a couple aisles and show you guys some of the parts that aren't manufactured here, some that are. I mean, there is a freaking array of parts mile long, so Doug's gonna go with us too because we don't know all of them, to be honest. I mean, right here, honestly, first fuel system I ever made, Doug taught me how to do it. Remember that phone call? Yeah, you're like, <laughs> what do I do? I'm like, uh, let's start from the beginning. I mean, literally taught me how to draw it out, the whole nine, but this is all Fragola fittings, so made in the USA, and they are fully supplied and stocked up here at Motion Raceworks to get whatever you need. Plus they got a hose, lots of spools down here. I mean, as far as fuel fittings and stuff goes, that's easy, Motion's got it unlocked. All right, let's put it on, what do we got in aisle C? Uh, turbo builds. Ah, turbo builds. Remember the old OG Ruby turbo kit? Actually, every rendition of Ruby's turbo kit, I'm pretty sure, is all from here. So you got freaking two and a half inch U-bends all the way up to five inch. Five inch U bends, aluminum. Yep. Stainless. Ah. Got the big dog. That's what Jack Stan uses on the Nova. <laughs> Stainless, aluminum. I mean, the whole thing is. Goes, clamps. Yeah. You got your clamps. You got your couplers, freaking V bands. And like I said, guys, the dogs pack all these orders. So. Yeah, they're the only they're the only thing fast enough the humans weren't actually fast enough we had to hire dogs okay so then this is just a bunch of header flanges down yonder building your headers basically every type of engine even that dude look at that motion branded v-vans dude legit and we're going to show you how this vacuum machine works because it's sweet Got some an precision, lines precision turb skis oh dude a wall of precision turb skis dude can't go wrong with that oh this is the real deal huh oh yeah Here's a bunch of motion manufactured parts. You can usually tell it's made here when it's in this vacuum sealed packaging. Coil brackets right here. Mount up your coils. Throttle cable bracket. Yep. Mount your coils on your roll bar. Head gaskets. Ignition wires, dude. Coyote, whatever you need. Oh, this is for mounting your uh, Holly Terminator. I know you guys don't usually check timing, but we do have timing pointers. Oh yeah, we don't check timing where we're going. Timing pointers, <laughs> dude. But dude, so legit, all motion branded stuff. Woo oh dude, CO2 bottles. Everyone around the CO2 for their boost control. They come empty, you gotta fill them. Vacuum hose, plenty of buttons for your trans brake or whatever. I mean, probably your scramble button, whatever you need. All the Crown Vicks and the Freedom 500, use these buttons, dude, guaranteed. Oh, James needs some of these firewall grommet seals. Oh, I'm all sealed up now. Oh dude, look at that. Turbo drain flange in all oh, sizes. O ring on the backside. Oh, yeah, no these gasket. do have the O ring backside. So you don't have to use a gasket, it comes with a real O ring. Got a bunch of waste gates here, all precision waste gates. Ah, drive shaft wheels, dude. All the datums. Uh, parachute yes, handles. So you pull your parachute. Oh, these are cool. Turbo flanges. This is a turbo flange, and then it also has an extra hole for putting a mount to it. Mount your turbo, it won't break off. Uh, we have engine diapers, which we've had a lot of requests to add to all of the Cletus fleet. So, yeah, yeah. I think well, now that you're, uh, we're here. going pretty fast, we should take some engine diapers <laughs> with us. All right, I'm gonna grab one of these. So, put that in your carry on. Engine diaper, you blow your engine, it keeps the oil in. Look at all these trans coolers, brother. 
Gonna need a couple of these boys to go on race week. Call motion for your trans cooler. Oh dude, this is the LS thermostat block off that uh, makes it so it accepts an AN fitting. There's the AN fitting for it. Got your starters. Got you a teddy. Got you a doggo. Another LS coil bracket deal. Yeah, this is for the motion specific valve covers, which, you know, we got the special edition ones now. Oh, water pumps, dude, Stop clean. Right what is this unit? Coyote stuff, you don't know anything. Oh, coyotes, Ford parts, Never mind. These are catch cans for your transmission. Look at that, full catch can kit, all the fittings you need, everything. And then this is a bulkhead, so you can bolt it to your firewall, and then your hose fittings of whatever hose you have go into this and then out the other side. Real neat. Mullet has two of those. Mullet's got those bad girls on it. Uh, these are those motion breathers that we showed you earlier in the machine shop. These bolt-on O-ring right to your valve covers, whatever you got. Some people even put these on their oil pan for drains. So we gotta keep going. We're getting stuck in this aisle. It's got so much good stuff though. <laughs> A lot of stickers down here, dude. Sticker pack. Steering columns, steering wheels, which we have our own steering wheel on the way. So just hang tight on that. Over here though, here's where the real stuff happens. So you got tons of steering columns for all sorts of applications. Fifth gen Camaro, Corvette, Fox body, uh, 94 to 04 Mustang, S197 Mustangs, S550 Mustangs, Silverados, more Silverados, G body, S10, dude, 98 to 04 S10, 82 to 88 S10, F body, Fox body, Fox body, Fox, dude, a lot of Fox body ones. That's a lot of steering columns. They don't have your application. DIY kits. Do DIY, dude. And then you got these bad girls to make your joints. You got the turn signal kits from Motion. It's like you can get everything you need in one stop shop here at Motion Raceworks. So you guys saw the raw materials come in. It goes to anodizing, and then it comes here. And then we just have a team of guys that do nothing but assemble and package all the parts. They also act as our quality control. Yeah. They are the last line of defense before it heads to you guys. So. <laughs> Yeah, so we got to really rely on these dudes, but uh, they got a lot going and they got the best machine in the house over here. Come check it out. So we got some parachute handles going in right here. This guy's wearing a Police McFarlane t-shirt, so he gets extra points. Extended lunch break. See him starting to glow up there? It's going to get, it's going to sag down quite a bit before it starts to retract a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum seal my hand on this one just to really show you guys its power. Full temp, just cooking it. There she goes. Look at that, dude. That's legit. We showed you a couple over there, but this is kind of how the finished product ends up. Holds everything in there. Nice and firm like, ain't gonna lose one little piece, one little nut or bolt and be screwed on your project. So motion, it's all about that reliable shipping. Which brings us to our next item, the shipping department. To show you guys the pure efficiency of the shipping department, I'm going to race one of the shipping guys. Look at the gaggle of dogs following us. See this? This is the type of quality control we have around here. The boxers are basically the running the entire company. Somebody's getting a mechanical fuel pump Someone's right here. Someone's about to make some power. Someone's about to make some power. All right, who's the, who's the fastest packager over here? <laughs> this is one of the coolest things that when Doug told me about this, I was like, wow, that's really impressive. So this camera, if a customer calls and is like, oh, you guys didn't put this in my box, they can go back and actually prove like, yeah, it was in your box or it wasn't in your box. So yep. smart. Something I was like, really using their noggins on that field. <laughs> sure. We got a crowd lining up here. James, stretch me out, dude. All right, your shoulder's hurting, dude. All right, all right. Let's go, corn cut. Ready, ready, go. Corn cob, dude, corn cobs are freaking. <laughs> James, I can't. Oh, dude, my freaking piece of tape's gone. Corn cobs taking a demanding lead here. Shit, James. <laughs> Put his label on. Hurry up. It's all about the love, though. He's got to go in a baggie. Oh, jeez. 
I got shit flying everywhere. Does the bag have to be sealed? Yeah. Unreal, dude. This... James, I don't want to hear it, James. Oh God, my box looks horrible. How did he get his hose in? Oh my God, dude, he's so fast. Yeah, but whose looks better? Dude. <laughs> FedEx is not All right, dude, I'm bringing it out of here, dude. All right, so a couple more inventory items before we get to some even more juicy stuff. Right here, we got a ton of motor plates. So Jack Stan loves motor plates. He's got them on all his cars, but they have pretty much every motor plate you need. So LS, small block Ford, big block, SBC, yeah, I mean, the good stuff. And then you guys know that I tell everybody, don't slack on your merch game. Motion Raceworks does not slack on their merch game. Look at all this, these are all shirts, a couple hats. Look at this lineup, dude. Tons of freaking hats. And then these ones are sick, dude. These are the freshest ones, so big fan of these. And then back through the shipping area, over here is the break room. Now that we're gonna be so busy taking everything to the next level here at Motion Raceworks, we've gone ahead and shortened lunch breaks to five minutes. So this is the break room, but. Just shut the door on this. All right, you know what, we're not even, no breaks, guys. They all looked over. <laughs> <laughs> After the break room, we'll show them the shop. We got Dougie's Nova sitting over here. Again, hefty blur on everything behind it. Not only is this shop used for developing uh, different car parts, like wings, things like that. They pull in some of the prototype cars and you know, build parts off of them, but they have some of their personal cars in here. Like that's Brian's right there. It's getting the freaking Freedom and Liberty intake on it, LS twin turbo deal. This is Dougie's Nova that's gonna have an LSA swap in it. And then this is El Toro. You guys saw that in the Christmas tree race. So a couple motion cars, dude, bunch of cars in the fleet. And then that pretty much does it for the tour. Is there anything else that we should talk about today? We got a bunch of room over here just getting tacked on. Come on out here. A little extension to the building. Taking her up a notch. So this will be for the blurred out stuff you just saw a minute ago. All of the, all of the stuff that was behind that hefty blur is gonna be in here shortly. All right, well, is there anything else we should show them while we're here? No, uh, there's a bunch of stuff we wanna show them, but can't yet. There's a lot, a lot of really cool stuff that's coming up quick. And uh, you know, we're just so pumped to be partnered up with Motion Raceworks for life. We can take this to the next level. Like, this is one of those deals where it just couldn't have worked out any better. Like, it's such a great group of guys they have on this team. And then, you know, we bring less people, but we're bringing all you guys with us. So we're just fired up to be uh, setting this partnership up for success. And we have a lot more to come. But I guess we're done here in DeWitt, Iowa. You know, centrally located, get parts to you fast. But we're going to head back to the shop. We have some parts on our actual cars that we want to show you because they are available now at MotionRaceworks.com. So let's head back to Florida. Wow, all right, so we're back at the Freedom Factory. We didn't exactly have these parts all ready when we went and shot the video with Motion, but that was the actual day that uh, we signed on to be owners of Motion Raceworks. So we have all of the Freedom Edition parts here in hand now. So this is like our kind of like real special edition. James, you can show them what we got here. Look at that. Now the Cletus branded Valley cover, all billet, all billet. Test that out, is it 100% aluminum? Yeah, it's a billet. American made. Full billet, and then if you get the blue valley cover, you gotta get the freaking blue motion valve cover. So these are actually the ones that we just switched to on Leroy, our favorite valve covers ever, because we've used a lot of different ones, and we just put these on Leroy, and we went from, uh, you know, a decent bit of filling the catch can every pass to having this internal baffling that is freaking awesome and does an excellent job separating oil from the air. Air width. Oh yeah, that's true. The matching catch can, which is also a double baffle catch can. This valve covers with this single 210 catch can, and yeah. we can go out there. And I personally blown up my motor <laughs> in my drift car and did not fill the catch can. Ever. These come with everything you need: the filter, the mount, the whole nine, all billet. 
So then we had to offer these same products in gloss black because not everyone wants a freaking bright blue set of yeah. valve covers, valley covers, catch can. So they come in this sleek gloss black. Got the valley cover there. The OG clear to swag on there. The valve covers look freaking sick too. So again, they all come with this internal baffling. You don't gotta order that separate. This is how the motion valve covers come. They all work top notch. A nice stainless hardware with your O-ring seal, washer, everything you need. So then one other thing we wanted to do was the parachute mounts. And this is just a simple product that Motion's always offered, but we have all of these parachute uh, handles in our actual cars. We've had them for years. Now they say, hell yeah, brother on them. So that's just a cool little item that we hopped up for you guys. Yeah, so they offer either full kit where yeah. it comes bracket, lever, cable, the whole nine, or if you already have a kit and you just, just want a handle, you can get just the handle. Some pretty simple parts to start off with. We got a little throttle body 90 here because uh, let's walk up to the front of Donnie and we'll show you some of the parts that we already put on his engine. James, you know, we still haven't even told him. We haven't showed him the throttle bodies in person because they were kind of a secret until we released them to the public last week. But these new motion icon throttle bodies are on mullet, uh, James 240, Donnie, we uh, will be putting one on pretty much every car from the future here, but these are super light and then they are modular. So like we showed you when we were up at the shop, you can actually just unbolt this yeah. four bolt flange here and then this 90 can bolt on or the Y or whatever other. Or this is V-band and they also offered in like a their own style of vengeance clamp where it's a three-way breakdown instead of two-way. Yeah. So it's very, very easy to put on. It has a little bit tighter of a clamping force. And then they also have your traditional slip-on coupler. Yep. And then uh, we got some of the new Cletus Motion Freedom Edition valve covers mounted up here. We got the valley cover. You can see the logo down in there. And then topped off with a Motion Raceworks steam port kit down there, dude. It's looking clean. All right, guys, well, we're fired up. I mean, we're in a freaking lifelong partnership with Motion Raceworks. It's not even a partnership anymore because it's like, it's us. Yeah. We, uh, we like went in all the way there's no this isn't just some partnership deal we can we jump in with both feet yeah we, we dove in head first so motion race works we are literally on board for for life for for life and uh we're just pumped up man like such a great team it was such a perfect match when we first went there and saw it a couple months ago yeah. and we went back and like made sure it was really the right plan for us and now we have access to incredible parts and being able to offer them to you guys as our own parts that we can now test and develop and come up with whatever ideas we want. Even you guys can drop ideas in the comments below for stuff that you've always wanted to have and we can probably make it happen. So that's oh, yeah. it. Uh, official r and guys now, not we're, just part time. Yeah, we're official now. <laughs> Full time. So uh, motionraceworks.com, go check it out. Get familiar with the website and stuff. We're gonna be talking about it probably a lot more. So, but that's it. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We will freaking see you later.